in the studio with me is Benjamin Sporton, the CEO of our World Coal Association. Benjamin, uh, thanks very much indeed uh, for coming through. It's rare for South Africa to find friends, especially around the coal area, but here you are, and we're talking about technology that could potentially make coal perhaps friendlier to the environment than it is. Mm -hmm. Please help me understand. Well, as you said, coal is an incredibly important uh, fuel for South Africa, and it's uh, imp incredibly important around the world as well. Uh, we're very focused on the low emissions coal technology that reduces emissions of CO2 from coal. So things like high efficiency, low emissions power plants, the sort of power plants that are actually being built here in South Africa today, the Mudupi and Kasile power plants are actually yeah. using that technology. So are you saying those plants mm -hmm. are now um, more efficient, number one, in terms of coal, product, sorry, coal usage, mm -hmm. but also are less harmful to the environment? Indeed, yeah. So what these How plants much more do, so? So what these plants do is get more energy out of every sort of lump of coal, if you oh, like. Oh, I see, okay. So uh, you use less and so what for they, more. In, indeed. And so what actually happens is because you're getting more energy out, you have less emissions. So a modern high-efficiency plant will uh, reduce emissions from coal of CO2 by about 25 to 30% compared okay. to older technologies. Technology. Okay. So that's quite a big impact when you it look is. at that globally. Uh, we, so we try and get lots of countries to actually use these technologies. They're widely recognised as one of the best ways to reduce emissions from coal today. Yeah. Is there more potential to get more out of uh, these technologies? In other words, increase even the, 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 the current efficiencies from what mm -hmm. you're talking about now? Yeah, indeed. So the best plants that you have available today are probably about 45% efficiency. That compares to older technology, say that's okay. 33%. Okay. Uh, but many of the equipment manufacturers are looking at technologies that go uh, high in the high 40s and even into the low 50s in terms of uh, efficiency percentages that might be available in the next 10, 15 years or so. So that technology is continuously improving over time. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, though, we need to look at things like carbon capture and storage to actually eliminate the emissions that come from coal uh, and other technologies as well. How far are we from that? Mm. Well, CCS is operating uh, around the world today. There's about 20 large-scale CCS projects, carbon capture capture projects. Uh, they're on things like power stations. So there's two on coal fueled power plants in North America, one in Canada and one in uh, the United States. And then on things like gas production and on steel mills and cement plants and things like that. So uh, this is a technology that's emerging. It's still very new. We're not okay. doing anywhere near enough of it yet. Uh, and we're going to have to be focusing on that more internationally in the years to come. Yeah. So you were telling me that uh, the World Coal Association was meeting in Johannesburg mm. yesterday. Yeah, right. We hosted a, a, a roundtable in Johannesburg what were you yesterday. So we're, we're looking at how coal matches up against the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Ah, so these okay. are the big global targets uh, that were set alongside uh, the Paris Agreement. They were both agreed in 2015. Yeah. Now, obviously, coal contributes to sustainable development. Mining here in South Africa and elsewhere uh, in the region provides jobs. It provides investment for local communities. Uh, but obviously coal mining and the use of coal has environmental impacts as well and so yeah. what we're trying to do is begin a process to look at how we map coal against those sustainable development goals, right. identify where we do good things and try and do more of it mm -hmm. uh, and identify where we have challenges and work out ways that we can try and address some of those challenges. Yeah and uh how far would you say you are from realizing some of the goals that you are setting out, like doing the good things that you talk about? Mm -hmm. I suppose they include a, a better usage of technology. Yeah, well, many companies that operate uh, in, in coal mining here in South Africa and elsewhere in the region are doing good things, investing in local communities, improving water supply, for example, right. providing w free Wi-Fi to communities. So these are sort of positive impacts uh, that the mining community and the coal mining community is having in Africa. Uh, but we've got a long way to go in terms of reducing emissions from CO2. This is something that the industry is, is working on, yeah. trying to make sure that we can deploy the most efficient coal plants. Uh, that is always a big project uh, that we're continuing to work on, particularly uh, in, in some of the major African countries that are looking to add new coal-fired power ca capacity, yeah. and also in Asia as well. Yeah, I'd imagine you came up with a set of goals, you came up with a set of resolutions that uh, sort of take your organization mm -hmm. into the future? Well, that's, that's what we're working on at the moment, is to try and accelerate the deployment of these technologies. We think it would be fantastic to try and get uh, the average efficiency of the coal power fleet, for example, up from about 33% where it is today yeah. to about 40%, for example. That would have the equivalent of reducing global CO2 emissions by about the equivalent of India. Yeah. Uh, so that's a huge impact that can be had by actually uh, in just increasing the uh, efficiency of coal-fueled power plants. Yeah, but I suppose the environment is improving a little bit with the man who's in the White House, isn't it? Mm. Well, President Trump has certainly talked more positively about <laughs> the role of coal and 
yeah. about the role of low emission coal technologies. Yeah. There are big challenges in the US market because of the emergence of shale gas. Uh, that has obviously provided a lot of competition for coal and having President Trump talk about the role of coal is always positive in that respect. Sure. The other thing he's been doing from an international perspective is actually talk about increasing cooperation between countries that are using coal to accelerate the deployment of low emission coal technology. So countries in Africa like South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana have been talking about the need to invest in low emission coal technologies. Yeah. Uh, and President Trump has started talking about how he can help and how the World Bank and other institutions can help in investing in those technologies. So that's positive. Yeah, but ultimately I suppose, uh, you know, generally I think the world is moving on to uh, a situation where there's greater demand that coal be more and more environmentally mm -hmm. friendly and that uh, there be greater technologies employed to try to make sure that we're not poisoning all, mm. uh, making the environment worse than it already is. Yeah, absolutely. We have a global drive towards reducing emissions uh, and towards a cleaner energy system. And uh, that's leading to you know increasing role of renewables and gas and coal is part yeah. of that equation. Yeah. And that's why we're really focused on the technology solutions. Does it help to perhaps get you guys married into the other renewables, if you like? Well, coal actually helps renewables integrate into the grid because renewables are inter intermittent technology. The sun course, doesn't yes, always yes, shine, yes. the wind doesn't always blow, and so coal can be there as, as a backup. But uh, coal provides affordable, reliable and uh, stable electricity which is needed to support business and industry and economic development. So we think coal has a role to play alongside renewables.